My name is Father Ray Schroth. I'm an associate editor of America. And along with my fellow staff members, we're sharing our reflections on the Easter season, uh, particularly uh, focusing on some work of art or a symbol. Uh, my double work of art is a, a book uh, by, called The Monks of Tiberin, and it's the basis of a film, which I'm sure you've heard about, uh, called Of Gods and Men. And it concerns the lives of nine Cistercian monks in the Atlas Mountains of Algeria, right outside Algiers. And you're familiar with the history of Algeria in the sense that the French were driven out in the 1960s and uh, Muslim control was assured, but that has not brought them peace. And in the 1990s, and this is 1996 that we're talking about, the civil war among themselves was still continuing. And the monks have come and stayed not to convert, but to love and to serve and just be there as French, Christian, Catholic friends of Muslims and entering into their lives by working on a farm the way they do, by selling their crops. And above all, they've got an infirmary where the poor and the sick uh, bring them their ills to, to the priest who is also a doctor so that they may be served. But as the political situation gets work, worse, they're warned, either they leave or it's, in, it's inevitable that they will be killed by terrorists. And after much debate, much prayer, they decide they're going to stay, even though they see that, that they realize that having come to serve, they will never see France again. And uh, a couple of days before Easter, they have a dinner together in which they, shall we, we call it, pass the cup. You recall that the cup in the New Testament is a sign that Jesus says, if you can share my cup, means that you can share my death as well as you share my life. And the apostles, of course, say yes, but not knowing what the cost will be. And the monks pass the wine bottle around the table, listen to the music in the background. Uh, a couple of them, uh, they're mostly old men uh, uh, or older, and tears will come to their eyes and smiles will you know, come to their faces at the same time, realizing that they're saying goodbye for something that's just anticipating what will happen in a few days. And even though they have saved the life of a terrorist who was brought to them into the infirmary uh, when he was wounded, another, say another group, or an unknown group of terrorists, come and kidnap them, and they're going to hold them for hostage. But we, hear, we do not hear from them and for quite some time. And then, uh, bit by bit, their heads are discovered. They've been beheaded, and the bodies have been buried, and they finally trace the bodies. And uh, the town mourns, and the Muslims mourn, and the church mourns. But before they died, the abbot wrote a letter, which he intended to have read later. And he says, now, as we approach death, uh, I look forward to the great possibility right, that I shall see, in the time of the resurrection, I shall see my brother Muslims the way God sees them, as they share in the gift of Christ's passion and of his love. Thank you very much for American Magazine.